not filmed a haul video in such a long time. Like I can't remember the last time I filmed a haul video. So today guys, I'm going to be sharing with you a very special haul. I do have four incredible fragrances here to share with you guys and these are all from Lucky Scent. Uh, Lucky Scent is one of my favorites, if not my favorite fragrance website to buy niche fragrances. If you guys haven't heard of them already, which I'm sure that you have if you're into fragrances, Lucky Scent is the best. Like I'm just going to put it out there. They are hands down the best fragrance website ever, period. I just brought her toy in here for me to play with her. No, I have to work. Okay. <laughs> No, enough. <sighs> no, Poppy, stop. I knew this wasn't a good idea to have her in here while I'm filming, but I didn't want her to be alone. So anyways, I'm just gonna try and get through it. Just don't mind if you can hear Poppy. She's on the floor being really annoying right now. Lucky Scent, going back to Lucky Scent. Now, if you're a fragrance lover, if you like collecting fragrances, like I said, I'm sure that you've heard of them, but to me, they are literally like the right up there as like the best niche fragrance website that I've ever used myself. I genuinely recommend them to you guys. Obviously I'm not being paid whatsoever by Lucky Scent at all. I just really, they are highly recommended from me as a website. So enough of that. All right, so starting out with this fragrance right here. This is from Maison Francis Kirkshan and this is Grand Soir. Now I have wanted to own this for such a long time, I actually went through not one, but three samples of this fragrance. I was kind of just okay with wearing the samples of it because I had like quite hefty samples. I am so happy to finally own this fragrance. This is easily, hands down, one of my top five from Maison Francis Kirkshon. You guys obviously know I love Oud Satin Mood. I love Baccarat Rouge 540. I love the X-Rate of that. I love Grand Soir. It's easily up there as one of my top favorites from this brand. This is amber in a beautiful, rich, warm, cozy, decadent way. And this is actually how I personally love my amber scents. I do have another amber fragrance in this haul, but this one, there's something about Grand Soir that literally feels like it gives you that kind of warm, cozy effect to it, which I really, really love. So this one is one that I'm going to be wearing a lot because I am currently in the fall and I'm loving, loving this fragrance. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly read out the notes to you guys. It's amber, benzoin, tonka, vanilla, and labdanum. It definitely is a gourmand scent, but it's not a sickly sweet fragrance. It's not a sugary fragrance. It's more of like this rich creamy, cozy, kind of warm scent. That is just perfection to me. Like I said, it's not too sweet. It's not too gourmand or heavy or, or sickly. It's just the right amount. This is like amber done to perfection. So Grand Soir from Maison Francis Kirkshan is my number one. All right, so we might as well stick along with the amber train. The next fragrance that I have here is one that is very well loved in the niche fragrance community. And this one is from Andy Tower. And this is Lair du Desert Matacan or <laughs> I can't say that. Matacan, Matacane, Maracane. I should just leave it with my accent, really. Leather Desert Maracane. There we go. As far as an amber scent goes, this is like up there as one of the best amber fragrances that I've tried. Now, let me just quickly say, these two fragrances are both amber scents, but they could not be more different. This is your sweet, warm, cozy, kind of gourmand, um, you know, rich amber scent. Whereas this fragrance right here, is a very dry, spicy, aromatic, a little bit herbal kind of amber scent. This fragrance is a masterpiece. I'm just gonna put it out there. In my opinion, obviously this fragrance is a unisex scent, but if I had to say if it lent towards masculine or feminine, I would say it's a tiny little bit more masculine just because it's quite a dry, like I said, dry, spicy, aromatic, um, and the scent, but I'm gonna go ahead and read out the notes for you guys just so you can get a better idea. But it's so like if you want a great amber scent, nothing that's too sweet or gourmand or edible, but you want an amber scent like that, composed of spicy oriental notes inspired by the Saharan desert. 
Oh, yep, okay, getting that. Um, and a Moroccan knight. The top is combined of coriander, cumin with a hint of pedigree. Now, if you hate coriander like me, like I'm somebody that absolutely despises the taste of coriander, it, it smells beautiful in this fragrance. Like it's absolutely incredible. Um, the heart features rock rose and jasmine. The base includes cedar, vetiver, and ambergris. I am just absolutely blown away with this fragrance. The hype around this fragrance is so well deserved. Definitely one of the best amber fragrances that I've tried. I'd probably say my three favorite amber scents are uh, Ombre Nui, obviously, Grand Soir, Le de Desert Maracan. Now, why do I keep saying it like that? I should just just embrace my Bogan accent, Le de Desert Maracan. And um, one from Mugler, the Mirror de Majestus. That kind of gives me a similar vibe to this one, actually. It's just a lot more sweet. So love this fragrance, love, love, love. I cannot recommend it enough, so yeah. The next fragrance that I have here is one from Nishane, which is definitely a house that I would like to explore a lot more in the next coming months, because you guys don't know this, but I have like an entire like wish list of like just niche fragrances after niche fragrances after niche fragrances. Like a lot of people say like that I talk about the same fragrances and that's just because I don't own the certain fragrances that I, wait, how do I put this? Like, basically I'm not a millionaire. I can't just go and buy all the fragrances that I want right now. I save up and I purchase and sometimes I'm sent free bottles. It just depends. But you guys, like, obviously if I could afford to, I would buy all the fragrances that are on my wish list, which would make my variety to talk about a lot more. But trust me guys, like there are so many niche brands that I have actually researched into and looked into and would love to own more bottles, but I just can't, obviously I'm not rich. I can't afford to just go and splurge all the time. So um, I won't buy something if it's not, you know, in my budget or anything like that. So anyways, the next fragrance, like I said, is Nishane and this is Fan Your Flames. Now, this scent is so, so, so good and I'm really happy, I'm really happy that I own this fragrance. Now, the notes in here are tobacco, coconut, rum, cedar, tonka, and oak moss. Now, I would say that you can pretty much smell basically every single note in this fragrance except for the oak moss. I get the tobacco, I get the coconut, I get the rum, I get the woodiness, and I get the beautiful creamy thick tonk bean. This reminds me of a night in Bora Bora on the beach where it's hot, or the Maldives, somewhere tropical, and it's night and you're drinking rum. Stop it. <laughs> drinking cocktails on the beach with your loved one. Like this, this is this fragrance. So Nishane, Fan Your Flames, incredible fragrance. Like I said, I want to explore a lot more from this house. Okay, so the next fragrance that I'm gonna talk about, I'm not gonna go into it too much right now in this video because I'm planning to make a separate video on this fragrance because this is how much I love it. Now, I know I've said, like I love every single fragrance in this haul, but that's because this is my haul. These are fragrances that I wanted to add to my collection. But this last fragrance, this last fragrance, I'm just gonna give you guys a little preview. This fragrance, this fragrance literally makes me like low key emotional because of how beautiful and incredible I think it is. Now, this fragrance is from the house of Fragrance Dubois, exquisite house. I have tried a few samples from them and literally, guys, fell in love with every single sample. I'm going to give you like a little brief story right now. Basically, I had a sample of this fragrance and I used through the sample in like three days. And after that, after I had used the sample, I like dreamt of this fragrance. I dreamt of the day that I own this fragrance and I'm not even exaggerating. That has never happened to me before where I have dreamt of a fragrance and literally I am so grateful to have this bottle in my collection that I can't even explain it to you guys. Now, I am gonna go ahead and talk about the notes and how it smells, but I am gonna do an in-depth review for it because of how much I love it, which you guys know, I never do single fragrance reviews. Like, very rarely will I ever do a single fragrance review. A fragrance has to really move me to want to do a single review. So this is Santal Complete from Fragrance Dubois. Now, I have to say a huge thank you to a subscriber of mine called Nicole. I love her, she talks to me about fragrance all the time, she's so sweet, and we have very similar tastes in fragrances. 
Hey Nicole. <laughs> um, and she was the one that put me onto this fragrance. It's a funny story. She was the one who was like going, get this fragrance, smell it, you've got to try it. Like, I'm going to send you a sample. Like, we have to get you to smell this. And I was like, really curious about it obviously. Story short, this sample showed up in my peer box, which actually wasn't from Nicole. It was from another one of my subscribers. I think he was from LA. I could be wrong if you're watching. I'm so sorry. But he sent me a sample of this fragrance and like I said, I used through it in three days and I dreamt of owning this fragrance ever since. <laughs> and like I said, I'm very like, I'm very like, oh, I just can't believe that I own this fragrance. Now, Santal Complet to me smells a little bit similar, like a little bit similar to Amouage Sunshine, like just a little bit. There is elements in this fragrance to me that remind me of Amouage Sunshine, but this is better. Like this is so much better. There is a gorgeous, and when I say gorgeous, I mean gorgeous sandalwood note in this fragrance that smells so real. If you've ever smelled um, sandalwood, like real sandalwood, the oil, the sandalwood in here smells so refined and so real that it's insane. Now I'm going to go ahead and read the notes for you guys just to give you a little bit of an idea of how it smells. But this is a fragrance right now that every single person watching this video, like every single one of you, has to get this fragrance or you have to try it because it is beautiful, like absolutely beautiful. Now this is not a head turner, as in it's not a big beast fragrance. It doesn't project off of your skin. It's not this overly strong fragrance, like a party fragrance. It's not like that. It's elegant, it's smooth, it's refined, it's a little bit powdery. It's like fairy dust to me. Like this fragrance, if fairy dust had a smell, it would smell like this. I know that sounds ridiculous right now, but that's how I'm trying to put it. It's like this beautiful, elegant, like refined, smooth, subtle fragrance that is just moves me literally like to tears. So the notes in here are sandalwood, coconut, vanilla, violet, amber, black pepper, musk, and lemon. Now there is this kind of tanginess to the fragrance, which I feel like is obviously from the lemon, just a little bit, like just a small little tang to it that makes it beautiful and unique. There's a little bit of a powderiness, a little bit of a balsamic vibe, but it is so creamy and so smooth and so beautiful that I just cannot explain it. And I don't want to go into it too much in this video because like I said, I will do a separate review. So Santal Complet from Fragrance Du Bois possibly could be my favorite fragrance of all time right now, this is it. It's a pricey house, but I really feel like with this house especially, you can smell what you're paying for. So Fragrance Du Bois, Santal Complet, get on it. Especially the girls, especially the girls that are watching my video, get on this fragrance. This is something that I would wear if I was getting married, let me just say that. So Santal Complet, incredible scent. So the last thing that I got is actually a discovery set and this is from the brand Acro. Now I haven't actually had the chance to fully go through and wear these fragrances yet but they look really 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 nice to me. They're looking pretty cool. My favorite one is Awake. Now this is one of the most realistic coffee scents of life. I just have to say that this literally smells like real coffee. Creamy, real coffee, period. Like there is nothing about this that smells synthetic, that smells fake. I know my coffee. I'm a coffee drinker. I'm not a tea drinker. Tea doesn't taste like anything to me. I'm a coffee girl and this literally smells real. So that's something that I love about Lucky Scent is that they do a lot of different discovery sets and I think that that's a great idea if you want to get samples especially from one specific brand. Um, that's a great idea to kind of introduce yourself to a certain house. So Acro discovery set. I'm looking forward to trying them. I'll let you guys know how I go. But yeah, that was it. That was my haul. I know it wasn't huge but honestly every single fragrance in this haul is for me, something that I have wanted for a very long time and I'm super happy that I own these fragrances now. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will talk to you soon. Also, don't forget to check out Lucky Scent. If you're a fragrance lover, Lucky Scent is a must, like period. <laughs> thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.